Today, we'll be discussing some Heroku options to host in your application. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for back for app and this is Talking to the Architect. So here I am at the Heroku website, and the first thing that you will notice is that Heroku is a platform as a service, so it can run multiple languages. As you can see here, they officially support Node.js, Ruby, Java, PHP, Python, Go, Scala, and Clojure. And they also offer a lot of resources. So for instance, they have uh, Redis in their stack, they have add-ons, app metrics, and continual, continuous delivery integrations. So it's a very solid and popular uh, platform as a service. And the first option I'm going to show you today is Back for App. Back for App, differently, is a backend as a service but we are the most uh, customizable backend as a service that there is. So it, uh, it means that depending on the plan that you have with us, we can fully customize the environment to meet your needs. We also have automatically scaling. We also have uh, dedicated da database servers and we send push notifications, you name it. Whatever you need to do, uh, you can do in back for app. But you are limited to the, the, uh, developing your application in Node.js, which is the uh, language that we use in our stack. The second one is AWS Elastic Beanstalk. It is the AWS approach to hosting your application and it automatically scales up and down. It's very popular, but it has some downsides as well. For instance, it's, it, you, it is usually very expensive to use AWS products and it usually automatically integrates with all their services, but it's very difficult to integrate with third-party services. So if you're going to use a fully AWS uh, stack, you're good to go. But if you're going to uh, integrate among different providers and different services around the internet, this can be troublesome. And last but not least, we have Google App Engine, which is the Google Cloud approach to uh, their platform and for hosting applications in a uh, platform as a service style. And they are very popular as well. They, they grow really fast. And one of the downsides uh, that we get from our customers coming from Google uh, Cloud to back for app is that it can get very expensive very fast. So if your application scales quickly, uh, it probably will have a huge hit on your budget for hosting it because Google services are very cheap when you're small, but they can get very expensive when you're big. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. Also, share this link with your friends so they can also learn something. Uh, if you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And I hope you follow us in the series. We will publish videos every day. See you soon. Bye-bye.